Hey YouTube, what's going on? It's me, Jessica, and I'm back again with another wig video. It's been a while since I've um, done a wig video. Um, I actually did one um, last week and I was trying to upload it and was having problems. So I'm going to try to upload it again. But anyway, let me do this. This is going to be a wig review. And the wig I have on, if you haven't guessed yet, is um, Ebony by um, Altry. And believe it or not, I have had this wig for about a year and never wore it. I tried it on one time and kind of really didn't know what to do with it. So I didn't really play around with it the way I should have. But I've had this wig for a year, brand new, have never opened it. So um, the reason why I'm wearing it now, why well, I'm beginning to wear it out now and taking it out of the package is because I'm in a transition. I am transitioning from um, relaxed to natural. And it has been officially eight weeks since I've last relaxed my hair, which really isn't a long time. The last time, I, well, it's been like, well, let me correct that. It's been almost eight weeks. It's been about seven and a half weeks. The last time I relaxed my hair was November 10th, and it's now January 3rd. Um, so that is not really a ridiculously long time. That's about the time that a lot of people will wait anyway. I normally will relax my hair anywhere from four to six weeks. But um, I just got tired of the relaxers. I don't want to be a slave to relaxers anymore. Um, you know, I have been wanting to go natural for years. And I was going to start like this time last year. I was actually watching all these natural hair care videos. A lot of, you know, YouTubers I was watching and I was so motivated to do it. And I actually went three months without relaxing my hair. And to be honest with you, I kind of just gave up. Um, I went back to relaxer. And I kind of regret I, that I did. If I had stuck it out, I would have gotten so far by now. But um, I feel a little bit more confident um, sticking with the transition this time. Um, I think the secret to sticking with your transition is just finding a really good protective style that works for you. And since I have been wearing half wigs for like almost three years, um, I figure, hey, wearing half wigs would be a great protective style for me and really help me with the process. Because it does get a little, it does make you feel a little off. Like I almost had a weakness, you know, just a few days ago, just felt a little down because I was looking at my head. I'm like, oh man, my hair looks so terrible. I don't know what to do with it. It's so dry. You don't have, you know, I, I, you know, I can't. There's no control. I can't do nothing with it. And I was very, very close to getting the dark and lovely kit. But then, you know, I spoke to my husband. He's like, no, just stick it out. You know, he's like, you got all these wigs. Just use that to help you out. You know, keep trimming your hair and stuff like that. So that's what I decided to do. So the reason why I'm, you know, this is the whole reason why, you know, Ebony is even out. You know, because um, wigs like this make a really, really good transitioning um, wig. So... Alright, so we'll talk more about that. I just want to show you all what I did. Now, Ebony is a really cool wig, you know, if you know what to do with her. Um, she's a pretty versatile wig. A lot of people wouldn't even realize that there is a lot that you could do with her. I really haven't seen anybody do their Ebony wig like this. Um, I do like the wig. To be honest with you, I just feel like it's such a great wig if you're going natural or if you already are natural. It's just a great wig to blend in your natural hair you know because now that i'm not now that I'm, I'm trying to go natural i really wouldn't probably wear as much straight wigs as i used to or the kind of water wave wigs or whatever i probably stick more with these kind of tight curl you know and um i i do like ebony a lot like i said she's a very versatile where you can do a lot with her she's very soft really you know light natural looking to me she doesn't she's not heavy or anything like that um from what i hear her she does last a pretty long time the only thing with ebony i guess is that you really can't comb her out i have seen people um finger wave her i wouldn't finger wave her personally just because i thought she would just get big as you could say it's really big hair and to be honest with you that's the reason why i'm wearing it the way i am now when i first had the wig on i had it out you know i actually had the whole hair out which i might pull my hair down during this video just so you could look you know at a different style but um i had the hair out and it did look cute but i just felt like it was too much especially since it was during the day i feel like maybe if you're going out at night maybe that could be a good style for you to do to just have it all out and wild and crazy but i was just going to go out today to run a few errands and i wanted to put this wig on and i just felt like it was just too much earlier so it was actually when i was in the car that i just kind of played around with it and i said hey let me just pin it up and i didn't even mean for all this to be up here i was just gonna pin it you know just pin it up so it wouldn't be just so wild you know but i think that it looks pretty good like this let me show you the back um it's not a ridiculously long wig 
it's a decent length because I don't like wigs that are super duper duper long. Um, I think that that's like a good length for me. So, but yeah, um, Ebony is really cool. She's pretty. Now, is she the easiest wig to blend? I think that if you're already natural, it might be a little bit more easier to blend. Um, I really did not. Well, when I tried her on last night, because I had my hair in twists before, it kind of blended a little bit easier. But I washed my hair last night and did a Bantu knot twist out and took it out this morning. It was okay, but I kind of got tired of it. So that's why I had brushed my hair and put this wig on. But I really, it wasn't blending with it. So I used my wave iron, which really isn't a good blend. But that's the only thing I could think of to do at the time. I'm guessing like if you know you're going to wear this wig the next day, maybe you could use those coils like this. <clears throat> maybe you could try these rods um, in your hair the night before. I think that probably would be perfect to kind of blend your natural hair in. Because it is such a big wig, you don't need to leave too much hair out. But if you want to do something like this, then you are going to have to leave some hair out. So that's why you can see that how it's straight here so you could basically see the different textures because this is my new growth coming in and all of a sudden it's straight and it goes back to curly so but um you know it, it it works so i hope you guys like it like this um most of the um videos i've seen a lot of the girls on youtube have done really really great jobs with this wig if i do say so myself have done really great jobs with ebony a lot of people will have it either out or will you duplicate the style that's on the picture which also is really nice too and I did wear it like this earlier today. I had it did two different ways. First, I had it out, then I tried this style. Then I changed my mind and decided to do this. So, but um, yeah, this is something else just to give you an idea. This is something else you could do with Ebony. You can leave it, you know, just put pin some up. But um, I'm pretty much done for the night. So let me see if I pull it down. We can see what we're looking like. The cool thing with this wig, like I said, is that it looks like it kind of has these bangs on the side. So this is how she would look if I were to just like leave her out. And if you notice something else I did with this wig, I put a headband in. Um, cause I just feel more comfortable like just doing headbands overall with my wigs. So every wig I have, I normally try to do headbands and it helps if you have like the tighter and newer your head, that your headband is, the better. But this is how she looks when she's out. So like I said, she's really pretty. If you like big hair, then this is a perfect wig for you. And there, and Ebony is really not that expensive. Every time I go online, she's always on sale. I know for a fact right now on Hair with Harlem, I'm not planning on ordering another one right now. Um, but right now on Hair with Harlem is $14.99, which is a really great price. But um, but just getting back to the whole transitioning thing. So like I said, I've been have not perm my hair since November 10th. Um, not really a long time, but um it's it's a start for me um i don't want to do a big chop at all just because i know i'm such a wishy-washy person sometimes i'm very finicky especially when it comes to my hair and my style and stuff like that i can tell you guys right now i'm transitioning i want to go natural which i am doing and then six months from now i might get sick of it i don't like the process no more and say hey i want to start relaxing my hair so i don't want it i feel like if i do a big chop that would be way too much of a commitment and it also i don't think i would like the way i look with hair that is so short i'm tall i'm five foot nine i'm thick i wear a size 12 so I just feel like a, and you know I have a big head so I just feel like having a short short haircut like that would just not suit me and I'm not comfortable with it now one of my friends she's been natural for a year and she did the big chop back in April and it actually looked really good on her but she's short she's kind of petite so it worked for her I just feel for somebody my height in, in size I just that's just my a personal opinion I just don't feel like it worked work for me so that's why I'm not doing it but like I said to try to help me get through the transition I am just gonna be using wigs as my protective style the band to not twist out is cute but for me it only lasts like a day um but i would like some advice from you guys if you guys are already natural or going natural being that i am transitioning would you advise me to maybe get a curl enhancer could i use a curl enhancer on my hair because i washed and conditioned my hair last night and i did the band tonight the Bantu Knots went to sleep and pulled it out this morning. So it actually did look cute when I pulled it out and I went to the gym. But it didn't last because my hair got really dry. So I wanted to know is there anything I could put on my hair just to kind of make it last and look better. I know a lot of people like to use the Shea, the Shea Moisture. Um, 
milk and curl enhancing smoothie and all that stuff. But like I said, I'm still transitioning. I'm, I'm, I really don't even have probably about an inch, a little over an inch of new growth. So, you know, but are those products I should start stocking up on? Because I've been hearing good reviews on the Shia moisture. I feel like once I get more hair and once I am completely natural, that's definitely a product I want to use because I'm seeing, I'm hearing so many, um, good reviews about the Shea Moisture products and um, I know Miss Jessie is very expensive but I'm actually hearing that the Shea Moisture is way better than the Miss Jessie's and it's half the price so um, I think that when I am at that level I will definitely be using that but what I'm doing right now and then in the meantime like I said I still wash shampoo and condition my hair every weekend I'm back on herbal essence I had started when I was still relaxing I was using the Nexus products which are really really good but now that I'm you know going um natural now that I'm trying to go natural I'm gonna get back to the herbal essence because there are a lot of naturals on here who still because I even though I'm going natural I don't want my pockets to burn up you know what I mean I still want to be able to wear I still want to be able to use products that are inexpensive so and there are a lot of naturals on here that tell you that you can still use inexpensive products that are great for natural hair. So I still plan to use Herbal Essence High Delicious. If you remember, if you do watch my videos, I did a review on Herbal Essence High Delicious a few, like earlier on in the summer, I believe. So I love, not even, I think it was even before that, I think it was like in late spring, I had did a video on that. So I love, love, love Herbal Essence products. And my favorite, of course, is High Delicious. And I washed and shampoo, I shampooed and conditioned my hair with that um, last night. And I also did deep conditioner. Let me go in my shower. Cause I really want to show you guys the deep conditioner that I used. Okay, I don't know if y'all are familiar with this. I should have all my stuff. I wasn't even really planning on talking about my transition too much. But anyway, um, this is a deep conditioner that I used. This is the um, Look Hair Cholesterol Plus. It is really good. I think it's great for perm hair and um and natural hair but i used to use that a lot when i was in high school my hair and it's really good and i've used it every you know over the years every now and then but i know that now that i am trying to go natural you know your hair needs a lot of moisture and so after i shampooed and conditioned with the herbal essence i said you know what you need to do a deep conditioner and i knew that i had the look hair so that's why i use that um i know i'm probably gonna have to use some different products i'm you know but i just want some ideas if you guys could tell me some products that i should use for me transitioning because I know you know natural hair might need different products and what relaxed hair might use and honestly as a relaxed when as relaxed I don't really use that much product if you watch some of my videos after I shampoo and condition my hair I roller set the only product I really use is the olive oil stimulating sheen spray in my hair I don't like a heavy oils or creams or anything like that because I just feel like it weighs your hair down but now that I am transitioning you know I know that my hair has been drying out a lot so I'm definitely going to need something else to put in my hair. So if you guys could give me any ideas, something, a product that's not too expensive that I could put in my hair for this transition process, I would really appreciate it. But um, yeah, so that is it. But um, all in all, though, I'm really excited about this journey. I'm really hoping and keeping my fingers crossed and praying that I can stick it out because this has been my second attempt uh, as of late to go natural and I've pretty much <laughs> that did not go through it did not you know last the first time which had I lasted I mean I would have been a year in by now so but I decided to start all over and to be honest with you my hair does grow pretty fast just overall so like I said I'm planning on just what like I said conditioning every single weekend I'm going to trim my hair once a month I do have professional scissors and I normally will do the ponytail trick to trim your hair so I'm going to be trying to do that every week just to help with the process. I know they say that when you transition it takes about a year and a half, two years to see results but I know they say if you do trim your hair on a regular basis that it will help speed up the process. What I also plan to start using as well if, you, if you're not if you've never heard of this is this vitamin i haven't taken it yet i bought it like a month ago and haven't used it yet but i plan on starting to take this vitamin this is called the optimal solutions extra strength hair skin and nails vitamin and it's five it's actually says five thousand um milligrams of biotin so it says it helps support lustrous um hair strong nails and vibrant skin so, um, if you guys know anything about this, just leave some comments below and let 
comments below and let me know what you know about this product but i figure since i really want my hair to start going fast this might be a good product for me to start taking and i also plan to start taking folic acid as well i have tons and tons of folic acid especially since i'm a couponer and i get vitamins for free all the time because i didn't pay for this either because this is like 16 17 dollars i paid absolutely nothing for this at cvs so i'm planning on taking some folic acid too just to help i know that, you know, folic acid is supposed to be really good for stuff like that. So, um, that is about it. Like I said, that is what's going on with me, um, right now, doing the transition. Um, it's a new year, trying to lose weight again. Um, still on, still, I've been going up and down with my weight. Um, you know, I did lose all my baby weight because, you know, I had my son. He's almost two now. So, it took me a year to lose all the weight that I gained with him. But I have gone back up a little bit. I mean, it's not drastic, but my jeans, let's put it this way, my jeans have gotten tighter. They button, but it's they've gotten very tight, whereas before they would just slide on. Now my jeans have gotten very tight, and, you know, the stomach handles are hanging out on the side. So I know I need to get back on track. And it's really hard, like, during the holidays, and I've been home for the past three weeks. So I'm not going back to work until Monday. So um, I've been probably snacking, really snacking a lot more than I should have, and I think I've been paying for it but I haven't gone to the gym though but I really know I need to be more disciplined with my eating so I'll probably do more videos you know I'm not saying I'm gonna do weight loss I really don't, I, I'm not doing weight loss journey videos I'm not doing hair journey videos because I really don't have the time to commit to that to actually do those videos on a regular basis but every now and then maybe once every other week I'll just do a video just updating you guys on where I am but I mean as far as my weight goes I was like 195 during the summer which is actually good for a person of my height and stature and then now I'm like up to 202 so I've gained like seven pounds so um and like I said you know just gain those couple of pounds you will feel it in your clothes that there's a difference so that's something else I'm working on but anyway this video is long enough like I said I hope you guys enjoyed you know I just wanted to update you guys on what's going on with me I really wasn't even planning on doing a video this long but um you know I because I was talking about you know the transitioning that's how i got this far so like i said this is ebony um as a matter of fact i had ordered a bunch of wigs um during christmas um and some really great curly wigs are going to be great for transitioning i know i did out trees victoria um i really can't what else did i get i got um super mango from mile and mile which i really like that wig um, yeah, but I definitely want to get creative, girl. But anyway, I got to go, guys. But anyway, thanks for watching my video. Please subscribe, rate, comment. If you have any comments, feedbacks, and can you answer any of my questions, please leave it below. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.